Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I have another weekly vlog for you guys. have been loving doing weekly vlogs as opposed to just a few days of my life and I think you guys like these more too so I've been loving doing these it is February today it's February 1st it's Monday I love Mondays I got a great workout in this morning I did a three mile run did a little booty workout just got ready was doing some editing on a video that I need to send in and I'm just having like a great Monday I'm actually shooting with my friend Kenzie Elizabeth today for her faith-based Patreon. It's called The Living Room. And it's like a little confessional video about faith and my testimony and other questions. So I'm so excited to shoot with her. I'm doing that at 1.45, it's noon right now. I just love having like a productive Monday to start off the week. For this week's kind of video theme, I really wanna to try to show you guys a lot of the ins and the outs of working for yourself, being self-employed as a content creator, creator i know this is like a job a lot of people would really like to do or a hobby whatever it may be and so i wanted to show you guys kind of like the ins and the outs of what it actually looks like to kind of plan your own schedule run your own stuff all that kind of thing so it's also tax season which is really fun if you guys know me you know i don't have an accountant i do my taxes on my own and it's actually a very difficult process especially when you're self-employed when you get income from a lot of different sources it's just really stressful doing your taxes and not wanting to mess them up because i do this job i don't get my taxes like taken out i pay them quarterly and april 16th or 15th whatever day it is it's just like a really big deal and so that is a big part of my week this week i'm actually starting tomorrow to do my taxes so i'll show you guys that which i know is not like a sexy topic to talk about but with that being said i wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video which is so perfect for this video and so exciting it is fantastic Found. found is business baking for self-employment. When you are self-employed, you have to do a lot of things yourself. So you have to track your own income, your expenses, and do those self-employed taxes. And found actually helps you take care of all that stuff. Found is a full feature business bank account. So they have a checking account. They have a savings account. They give you a business debit card. There's direct deposit and ATM access. I specifically love found because they have an all-in-one income tracker. So you can actually track all your income and your expenses. That's one thing that that just is a very heavy lift. There are a lot of random expenses that you have when you run your business. So if you drive places for work, if you work with a graphic designer like me, if you buy camera equipment, if you're a content creator, all those things are business expenses. So you have to make sure you log those. So they have an automatic expense categorization, a receipt capture and a note log. And you can also import your transactions from other sources as well. And if you do your taxes on your own, it's really helpful because they have a custom tax calculator. So it can actually help you calculate how much you owe each quarter when you have to make that quarterly payment. They have an auto-generated scheduled C and you can actually pay your taxes in those payments in the app directly. And if you're trying to do kind of like a deep dive on your business, it's really helpful because they have actual business reports. So you can look at a profit and loss statement, an expense report or an income report. And obviously this is all really sensitive information. And anytime I work with any companies that are more like banking apps, I get a lot of questions if it's safe, it's reliable, and this is definitely a safe and reliable thing. Thing. found is FDIC insured and you can actually get real-time transaction information so you kind of know what's going on at all times of the day if something sketchy is happening if this is something that you're interested in I will have found link down below or you can just go to found.app and you can open up your own found account for free in minutes there's no cost to this there's no credit check there's no minimum amount that you have to have in the bank account and there are also no monthly fees so I know this can be really useful if you're just starting a business you don't know how all this stuff works and I love found because it takes all these topics that no one talks about that you don't learn in school that maybe you feel all this ambition to actually start a business but you don't know all of these kind of details for actually running the business side of things in terms of expenses i'm getting a little hungry though so i'm gonna make myself a little snack and just keep trekking along on this monday i'm in line at starbucks right now i'm about to pick up some coffee before heading over to the studio i believe it's in the bishop arts area which is an area that i really haven't been to yet so i'm excited thank you so much for using our starbucks with me this one second awesome yeah, I'm just gonna get a grande cold brew with the cocoa almond milk foam. I wanted to talk about this though because I was thinking about this today and even this weekend. I have been so bad about wearing my AirPods 
all throughout the day always wearing them when like listening to music listening to podcasts watching videos just all the time and it always makes me think if you guys remember reading fahrenheit 451 where they'd wear the seashells at like all hours of the day and they just always have these little things in their ears and i felt really convicted like i can't be alone with myself in silence and can't just not be thinking about something or not needing stimulation by content and that was one of my fears about getting airpods and i really felt convicted when i was actually noticing that it's just like such a bad habit to always need something to be stimulated so this week i think i'm gonna try to have just a little bit more silent time like some alone time <laughs> where i'm just thinking about my thoughts because I don't think it's good for us to always have stuff on. I mean, I am a content creator, so obviously I depend on people watching my content and listening to my podcast. So I think it's great in moderation, but when you're always having to have those things in, I just don't think it's very good. So I'm gonna try to work on that this week, get a little bit better. It's one of my goals. How's the day going? Oh, good, how was yours? Oh, it's good, thank you. you I love all the sun lately. That Starbucks barista was so sweet. I love when people are just really sweet. Hey guys, Hi. I'm here with Kenzie and we just finished. Okay, you explain what we did. Okay, so okay. I, I have this thing called the living room. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's a lot, but this is for the Patreon. So we do like faith-based content and I had this series called Car Confessionals. I'm not gonna yeah. explain how I called that, it doesn't make sense. Basically, I just talked to my friends about certain things. So we talked about like- And it was really fun. So you guys should check her out. I'll have the living room link down below too. <laughs> but it was so fun. When will this be up? I, within the next two months. Okay, oh, no, okay, we're gonna for a long time. Okay. It could be like next week, it could be two months. Yeah, now. gotcha. Well, we'll know, I'll let you Well, know. it was really fun. And where do, are you shooting at right now? The so, Texas studio. Texas studio, it's really cute. If you need a studio. So I finished with Kenzie. It went so well. If you guys want to check out, like she said, I'm not sure when it's going to go up, but we talked a lot about self-love. I did this episode on my podcast about self-love, and so we talked kind of more in depth about that. And it was really fun. It was really fun to get to hang out with her. But now I'm about to head home and finish up my work for the day. I also just dropped off a package because I needed to drop off my Warby Parker glasses and it's time to head home. I'm currently making some dinner. I am making this recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It is this little pizza, butternut squash, prosciutto, and then I'm gonna make a side salad with it too. So. I'm in the process of making this. I got my butternut squash cooking. I just caramelized the onion. So I think that's coming along well. I wanted to update you guys that recipe was so good we made last night it was so delicious one of my favorite half baked targets so if you guys like homemade pizza you should try it out headed to the gym i'm gonna do a full body strength and conditioning workout so with weights i went a little later today it's 10 o'clock because i had to post a video this morning i was responding to comments and then also i started editing and started working so i probably won't be able to record in here because usually it's more crowded at 10 and i don't record when people are in there but we'll see maybe it'll clear out taxes and I was gonna kind of talk about this but I don't really know what to say. I have found that my taxes are a lot easier to do when I'm organized throughout the year, organized with logging my expenses, all of my income and all the different sources that it comes from. I mean it's a little bit more fun this year because I'm filing jointly with Aiden for the first time so it makes it a little bit different, switches it up a bit. But yeah I just use a program and it usually takes me probably about a month to do, not in terms of like 
like I'm working on them every single day for a month, but it takes a long time for me to get all the information that I need from companies. And also now for Aiden to get his from where he works. And another thing that I'm going to do and I'm trying to research. So I have an IRA that I started when I was 19, I think, when I started like fully making a decent amount of money off of doing YouTube and Instagram. And I started investing in that because when you work a job for an employer, you usually have a program for retirement with your company but when you're on your own you just kind of have to do it on your own and so I like to kind of research things that I want to invest in for that and then I also have another account that I just do separate investments in I'm trying to research a bit of that and if you do contribute to an IRA when you have a business it's a write-off that you can use and so it's really helpful and you're really incentivized to actually kind of start investing in retirement. I obviously can't give investment advice. I've learned a lot from being with Aiden because he just understands the stock market. And I feel like a lot of people right now with the whole GameStop thing have been trying to understand the stock market more. I don't know everything, but it is really interesting to see how much it's grown since I started it when I was 19. And I didn't have like a ton of money in there at that point, but that compound interest, it really does work in your favor, especially when it's something that you're doing for the long term. Like, I guess I can take this out. I'm, I think it's 72 or 77. So I still got a long time to go, but it's just really interesting to kind of research. And I want to learn more about this stuff and just become more of an expert, if you will. And so I've just been doing that. I'm gonna keep doing this for the rest of the day. It's almost 4.30 right now. I just got to my nail appointment. I don't really ever get my nails done that's one thing that i got a pedicure recently but i haven't gotten a manicure since like our wedding season and this is a really shallow reason but i'm so tired of editing my videos and seeing how gross my nails are because i bite my nails which i know is a really bad habit it's a habit that i've had for a very long time you can suggest any way to break this habit but i have probably tried it because i am literally such a bad nail biter but i'm gonna get acrylics because they help me not bite my nails i'm going to this place called rose couture nail bar I actually saw Danny Austin who I follow post about this I also feel really accomplished because getting started on my taxes is one of those things that always seems really daunting and scary but then when you actually do it it's really not that scary and it feels really empowering actually chipping away at something that you've been putting off doing and so I feel really good with that I also wanted to say last thing, I posted about this on my Instagram story, which is really random, but sometimes I'll just be doing something and I'll randomly think about how odd of a concept the show Wife Swap is. If you guys remember, they would literally swap wives between families for a couple of weeks and they'd be so mean to the wives. And it is just such a bizarre concept. And I remember seeing that show back in the day and watching it and it's just now registering now that like that was such a weird show. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you don't know Wife Swap, you should Google it. But sometimes I just think about that. I'm like, how was this show a thing? This is one of my tops that I got from Target recently also. And it's really comfy if you want to shop it i'll have it linked down below i love a good basic so i'll show you guys my nails when i get out i'm excited to go here so the sun is currently going down but i just had such a good experience they did such a good job here is what they look like done i think that they look so pretty they're so she did such a good job actually there's like two different people working on it but i saw i believe her name was juju and his name was steven so i really like it though i'm about to head home I got home a little bit ago. I've just been hanging out with Aiden. He just went to the gym. So I'm going to cook dinner here soon. I'm probably just going to make me trying to like flex my nails after I just got them done. <laughs> I'm just going to make some salmon burgers, not homemade or anything. I'm just going to make these frozen patties that I have and then do a side salad and some frozen potatoes that I have. I just want an easy dinner because I'm feeling like chilling tonight. <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth Good morning guys, it is the next day. It's Wednesday today. 
I have been pretty absent on the vlog so far. It's like noon, got a workout in, um, was just doing some laundry and I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed this morning. I was supposed to have a little FaceTime session with my friend Isabel today, but I just asked if we could switch it because I just honestly have a lot of stuff to get done today. And it's like one of those days where you take a little time before you start working and then all the emails start coming in. Also, I self tan in the dark yesterday, so my hands are orange and you just feel a little bit overwhelmed. And so that is today. I was on like a really strong kick of feeling very like happy and motivated and feeling like things were together but this morning is just not not one of those mornings but it's okay for today i'm actually gonna do a lot of podcast work i need to plan a podcast for monday a solo episode and then i also want to do some outreach to a couple of guests that i personally really want to have on people who I really, really like, who I'm hoping will be on, but I don't wanna jinx it, so I'm not gonna say them yet. And then I also need to send in a concept for a video for a sponsor to get approved, as well as plan out a sit down video that I wanna to film tomorrow, which I have an idea for, but I really just like to map them out. I've been trying to really split up doing vlogs and also sit down videos. And so like always, if you guys have any requests, feel free to link them down below. I love getting requests from you guys. It really helps me know what you're liking and my audience definitely changes over time. And so it's just kind of nice to see what people are vibing with, what people like. I actually feel that a lot of people are liking the cooking content. I posted a what I eat in a week recently and it got really good feedback. I got some really sweet messages on Instagram. So I wanna try to do more kind of like eating, wellness, that kind of content here and there. So yeah, I'm just gonna think through these things and have like a planning day, which I really need because my mind is super scattered today and really unorganized. I just curled my hair with a straightener, which is my favorite way to curl my hair. I feel like my blonde is finally going out. I'm finally becoming more of a brunette. And this is like my natural color up here. And I like that most of my hair is like this color now. I will have a tutorial link down below from how I learned to curl my hair with a straightener because I cannot explain it. I did this all the time in college and I've been really liking it lately because I just feel like it gives really natural kind of loose curls. So I'll have that below if you guys want to learn it yourself. <laughs> I'm all cozy at my desk right now, but I wanted to show you guys I've been working with a graphic designer Emma for the past couple of weeks on a new podcast cover, a new banner, and then also some logos. I just needed to do like a whole refresh of everything. And I've been working with her on this. I wanted to show you guys. Here's our little mood board we put together of what we liked, what I was going for. And then here's the primary logo she created, the alternative logo, the secondary logo, and then the YouTube banner, which I think looks so good. I love the font she did, it's really cute. And then she just sent over some podcast cover options. So I'm trying to decide which photo I like best along with if I have any edits, which I think I have a few. I wanna add my name somewhere on here, but it looks so good. I'll have Emma's information down below if you need a graphic designer. She's really awesome to work with. I know her from when I lived in New York, but this is like a big part of what I've been working on over the past few weeks. Cause I know this stuff looks really simple, but it really is important, especially with a podcast. That's really what you look at when you're scrolling through different covers. And so I wanted it to be something that reflected me. You guys know I'm a pretty simple person. I like simple clothes, simple color tones. I love the warm tones of the second one. So I think that's the one that I'm gonna go with, but she just did such a great job and I'm really excited. I'm also taking photos with a photographer this weekend. It's always nice to have photos and a girl who lives in Dallas reached out to me about doing a couple photo shoot with Aiden and I love getting pictures with him. So I've been messaging her and we've been trying to figure out where we wanna do it at. So that's another thing. I think that's a big part of doing this kind of job, you guys probably watch these videos and wonder like, it doesn't seem like the work is similar to working a nine to five and it very much is not. I actually do a lot of work on the weekends, like doing this shoot this weekend. I know that seems like something that's like a fun thing, but it really is helpful to have that stuff for Instagram. I often record weekend videos. I did a weekend video last weekend that I needed to do for a brand. So this stuff really does extend into the weekend, but I honestly love it. I love what I do. This is so so much fun to me and there are parts that are not as fun like graphic design which is why I am hiring Emma to help me because it's really important to kind of delegate these things to other people and kind of hire out at your weaknesses and graphic design and images are just not my thing so 
I oftentimes hire photographers or hire graphic designers to help with this stuff because it is really important, but it's not something that I'm good at versus video editing. I love editing videos. It's really fun for me. So I'd like to do that myself. I talked about on my podcast, I am trying to get someone to help me with my podcast to help kind of run like a podcast Instagram, which I don't have just because I really don't have the time to do that right now and just the space to really keep up with that in the way that I'd want to. Um, but I'm not ready to hire someone yet. I'm still trying to wait till I get more ads on the podcast so I can just use that money that I make from those to pay someone really well to do a good job and something that they're good at. So that's something that I've gotten better about over the past years, trying to kind of delegate things and getting a manager. I might get an accountant for this year too. So there are just some things that I need to update going into the new year, but all good things. Thursday. It's noon right now. I just got ready and took some thumbnail pictures, which is why I put on some fake eyelashes. I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I recently got these pants and I think they're so comfy and cute for like loungewear. Today's plans, I'm recording a podcast and then editing this podcast. I'm also going to FaceTime my friend and then I have some stuff to do with sponsorship stuff. So just kind of another computer day. My sweatshirt, I got this forever ago, so I don't know if it's still available, but I'll link it if it is. It's just like a little verse sweatshirt and then i layered my favorite turtleneck from target underneath and then these pants i'll show them in the other mirror they're just these like flare pants that i got recently i think they're really comfy they're not really leggings but they're just a ribbed material so they could be pjs i see a lot of instagram people that i follow kind of styling these and i think they're cute when you put them with a sweatshirt like this and then higher sneakers i don't have higher sneakers but if i did it'd be really cute with these so i'll have these pants linked down below i think only a twin pack is available so i actually got a pair for my sister-in-law because i know she's been wanting a pair of these so in case she wanted them i got them I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch and then get started for the day so i just finished recording this episode i always record them in my closet and the lighting is really funky in here but it was so good i did an episode sharing your stories on your worst date stories i got in my car got back on the interstate and drove home. Then I remember that my mother didn't raise a quitter, so I was going to finish this date. When I could finally squeeze a sentence and he kindly points out that I have something stuck in my teeth and reading your confessions. And it was so much fun to read through all of these. So thank you guys for submitting these. One day I would love to have a cute little podcast studio that's not in our closet. Even when we have a house one day, I'll have an office space for this, but for now, the sound quality is actually really great in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this podcast, get it all ready to post for Monday. If you guys don't know, I post my podcast every single Monday at 5 a.m. It's called But What's Next Podcast. And I also just updated my cover that I got back. For dinner tonight, I am making this egg roll in a bowl recipe. I'll have this link down below. I've made it before. It's really good. Pretty healthy too. Just something nice and fresh tonight. Good morning guys, it is Friday today. It's actually like 8 a.m. I just got changed. Aiden had to go into the office today and so I'm gonna have a morning to myself. He only goes in half days every now and then. So I am here by myself this morning. I'm gonna pick up the apartment a little bit, pour myself some iced coffee and head to a workout. And I just wanna say, this is a reality. My skin has been so not good lately. As you can see, I have like these very, they're not really cystic pimples, but they don't pop. As you can see, I tried to pop this one, but they hurt. And I think it's because I used self-tanner on my face and every now and then my skin just doesn't really like it. This one finally started to clear up, then these popped up and these popped up. And I was really annoyed because I thought it was just because of my period, but I haven't had breakouts as bad in a very long time. But this is just the reality. I just wanted to share. I think sometimes when I'm editing my videos, my skin looks like really clear because of the exposure or my makeup. But here in the morning, you can see the fresh skin. I went on Accutane when I was in high school, mainly for my back acne. And I've just done a lot of stuff for my acne. I've never had really clear skin. It has periods where it's more clear, but I've always struggled with acne. Not anything like super severe and not anything that scars too extensively, but it's just like an ongoing thing I've always had. And I always wonder when I'll get to the age when I stop getting acne because it's so annoying. It also could be because I touch my face a lot right here. It's like really just in this area. So last night was really fun. We actually went to Top Golf. We're trying to get really good at golf because my dad is really good at golfing and we want to get like on his level. 
And so we're trying to get better because we're not very good, but it was really fun. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get on with the day. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't. I just finished a workout and made myself breakfast. I'm sitting at my laptop right now. I'm about to do some work on here for. I need to send some things to my manager, and I want to do this before I shower just so he has it. So. I'm gonna do that. I feel really good because I have most of my videos planned out for the next, I think three weeks, which I never really do, but I have really exciting videos coming specifically on Valentine's Day. A very special video is coming out. And then the 16th after Valentine's Day, I have another very exciting video coming out. So these videos aren't, one of them is finished, but one I can't do yet, but I have everything planned, which is just nice to have this much stuff ahead of time. It feels really good. I feel very on top of it. But with that being said, if you're not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe because there's a lot of fun stuff coming. It'll be a good period to actually get, you know, updates on everything. So, so I just finished getting ready and I have to share this set that I got because I think it's so cute and so comfortable and honestly really great quality. I thought this color was really pretty. I don't really own anything this color. I think for spring, it's really pretty. It's like this really nice knit material. It's so cute. I'm trying to get more stuff like this that's like monochromatic. I think that's why I really like these sets right now. I think that they're so cute. So I'll have a link down below if you wanna shop. It's not very expensive and it's so cute. I do wish the pants were a little longer. I think I got a size four in this, I believe, or a small. I'm usually like a four or a two or a small. But I think I got a four in this, but it's really cute. I wish the pants were a little longer, but besides that, I'm about to do some editing and then I'm actually gonna see my friend Rose today. I'm headed over to see her. Her mom got a new house here, so I'm gonna go see her house. And before that, I'm really excited because I actually opened a P.O. box. If you guys wanna check it out, I actually have the P.O. box in the description box. We got this just as like a, to solidify a business address. But I think it's fun because you can send stuff and I got a notification that I got a letter and I'm just so excited. I feel like this is such an old school YouTube thing. You obviously don't have to send anything. I can't wait to go pick that up. I'm gonna stop there on the way over. The light, oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? I'm in the Starbucks line right now. I'm headed to go see Rose, but I was ordering my drink, the, the cold brew with the cocoa almond milk foam, and the guy was so funny. He was like, oh, here soon we're not gonna be making this drink anymore, but we're gonna be making oat milk foam, <laughs> which is honestly really exciting. No Starbucks around me in Dallas really have oat milk, but that's cool. They're gonna make an oat milk foam. He was really excited about it too, so it made me want to be really excited about it. Yeah. 